Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity 2000 PLC Node Red Modbus TCP. We will now look at communication between the Proactivity 2000 PLC or Modbus TCP server and Node Red Modbus TCP client. Node Red is a powerful adaptable HMI SCADA or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition development package that uses flow programming. Minimal coding is required. You can see the program flow visually. The best thing is that the software is free. We will look at using Node-RED with the Proactivity 2000 series PLC. Node-RED will be used to create a single Modbus flow. We will communicate to our XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor using the Modbus RTU on a serial RS-485 network. The present values of the sensor will be read. These values will be then written to the Proactivity 2000 PLC using a Modbus Ethernet TCP network. These temperature and humidity readings will then be displayed on our P2000 CPU. Let's get started using Node-RED for Modbus communication. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Installing or updating Node-RED. Node-RED provides a browser-based flow editor. This provides an easy way to visually see and modify your program flow. Flows can be deployed to the runtime in a single click. Node-RED is built on Node.js. This lightweight runtime can be deployed on low-cost hardware like a Raspberry Pi or cloud services like Microsoft Azure. This can bring data collection, analysts, and storage closer to the device. Real-time edge computing can then be achieved without legacy issues. Since Node-RED requires Node.js to operate, we need to know the supported versions of Node.js to install or update. These are the current versions of Node.js that Node-RED supports. We will be using versions 18 because it is recommended. This will be a stable environment for our programs. Node.js releases. The current version installed on your computer can be seen by entering the following command in the Windows command prompt, node-v. We will be installing version 18 of Node.js. Currently this version is in maintenance mode. Download version 18.18.2 .18 from the following URL. Since we have a 64-bit Windows 11 machine, select node v18.18.2 dash x64-msi for the installation download file. Install the Node.js software. You can now see that we have the version of Node.js that we need. Install Node-RED, installing with npm. To install Node-RED, you can use the npm command that comes with Node.js. Open a command prompt in Windows and type the following command. We will now install Node-RED on our computer. At the command prompt, type Node-RED to start running the program. You can see the version number of Node-RED in the Node.js. Node-RED has been running since the flow started. The editor is browser-based. Open your browser and type HTTP colon backslash backslash localhost colon 1880 backslash. The editor has four main parts, header, palette, main workspace, and sidebar. We have an entire series on Node-RED to help get you started with this exciting IoT flow programming software. Node-RED Modbus Nodes Installing Node-RED Contribute Modbus Palette On the right hand side of the header, select the three lines or pancake to bring up the menu. Select Manage Palette. Under the User Settings menu, select the palette on the left hand side. This will show you the current nodes that you have installed. 
We currently have only the default nodes installed. Select the Install tab. Type in Modbus in the search field and press Enter. Select the Install button on the node red Contribute Modbus palette. On the pop-up window, select Install. Node Red Contrib Modbus is now installed on your palette. Select the Nodes tab. You can now see the 14 nodes installed under Node Red Contrib Modbus. This menu can be used to install and delete node palettes. Select Close. The palette on the editor will now contain the nodes you will need for the Modbus communication. We can now gather and set the information required from the XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor and Proactivity 2000 P2000 PLC needed for Modbus communication. XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor. Using the WaveShare USB to RS-45 converter, we will connect to our Windows 11 computer. Installation instructions are covered in the following post. This driver will assign a device to the communication port or COM port. Using the device manager in Windows, you can see the communication port assigned to the USB to RS-45 converter. Here is the wiring diagrams for the sensor. Using Simply Modbus, we can test our communication to the XY-MDO2 sensor. Simply Modbus software has extended a 10% discount to ACC Automation readers. Use the following URLs to receive a discount on these software packages. Our sensor has Modbus RTU parameters COM3, 9600, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity. The Modbus address on this serial device is 1, which is the default. P2000 Modbus Server Program Calling the Productivity Suite programming software, we can set up our P2000 PLC to accept the Modbus values read from our XY-MDO2 sensor. Display the tag database and add two more tags to store the temperature and humidity readings from the sensor. The Modbus address will be 4.0001 and 4.0002 for the temperature and humidity respectively. Temperature and humidity sensor values will have a decimal place understood. The math instruction converts the sensor reading to a real number so it can be displayed on our P2000 CPU. Pack string is used to create a string for the temperature and humidity sensors that show the unit of measure. The display page instruction is modified to show the OLED displays temperature and humidity on lines 2 and 3. We now have our program and that Modbus address is set for our system. Call up the Ethernet ports from the CPU module. This can, can be done by selecting the following from the main menu. Setup, Hardware Config. Double click on the P2 550 CPU unit and select the Ethernet port. A static IP address has been entered for the P2000 CPU. This is important to ensure that the address remains the same so our node red program can find this controller. The Modbus TCP port is set for the default of 502. Download and ensure that the P2000 is in run mode. Our Productivity PLC is now set for our Node Red Modbus TCP communication. We can now look at creating our Node Red Flow program. Node Red Flow Program Our Node Red Flow program will read the temperature and humidity values from the XY MDO2 sensor using Modbus RTU. It will then take these values and write them to the Productivity 2000 PLC using Modbus TCP or Ethernet. First we will configure a Modbus RTU node, Modbus Getter, to read the temperature and humidity values from the XY-MDO2 sensor. When you first drag the Modbus Getter node onto the workspace you will see a red triangle. This indicates that you need to set up the parameters. In Settings under Properties you can click 
the edit icon for the server to add or modify a Modbus client. From the parameters above, we can enter the data for the Modbus RTU communication to the XY MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor. In settings under properties again, we can address the unit number, address, and number of registers to return. We can quickly test our flow program for our sensor by adding an injection, Modbus response, and debug nodes. Note our injection node will be set for a delay of 5 seconds to ensure the initialization of the ports and then update every 0.5 seconds when running. A Modbus Flex Write node will be used to write the information from the XY-MDO2 into the Productivity 2000 PLC. Once again, we can set the parameters for this node. Using the P2000 PLC Ethernet Modbus server information to set up the node read Modbus Client node. Modbus FlexWrite will use a function node to process the sensor values and prepare them for writing to the PLC. Looking at the help file for the Modbus FlexWrite, you will see the code that we can modify for our function node. The function node can perform any necessary calculations or conversions on the sensor values in the function node. For example, we may need to convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit or format the humidity value as a percentage. Once the values are processed, we can then pass them to the Modbus TCP node. The actual code that you see is JavaScript. We store the previous Modbus getter sensor values in a variable called values. Creating the message payload for the Modbus Flex Write, we consist of the values for the temperature and humidity. It also includes the Modbus function code, unit ID, address, and quantity. The function slash Modbus Flex Write node is now configured to write the temperature and humidity values to the Productivity 2000 PLC. We can add a Modbus response and debug nodes to our flow for troubleshooting. With our node red flow program complete, we can now deploy it and start monitoring the temperature and humidity values for our XY-MDO2 sensor on the Productivity 2000 PLC. This integration between node red and the PLC allows for seamless data exchange and enhances the overall functionality of our system. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.